Hello, I'm Emma Hammett, the founder and CEO of First Aid for Life, firstaidforlife.org.uk. Today I'm going to cover what to do if you find someone has had a mouth injury. So if they were cycling along and someone opened the car door, it's a real classic one, and they go straight into the door, um, can knock out their teeth. Um, if it's a child playing at the swings and the swing flies up and hits them in the face or they run into the, the side of a, a table, a, a small table or something, um, or they tripped over. Um, uh, one of my son's friends, um, someone was playing a joke and they slapped him on the back and he went straight into his desk and knocked his front teeth out. If the, child, if the, the tooth has come out in its entirety, it can be saved. The priority, however, is that you've got someone who has had a head injury. So if they've been hit hard in the face, do think that they may well have some degree of whiplash and that they could have a head injury. So those would be more serious injuries than the superficial injury that is quite alarming because there will be a lot of blood because mouths bleed a lot because they're very vascular. So don't be distracted immediately by the blood loss. Um, it's more important to just work out whether you think that they have had a very serious head injury and could have any degree of spinal in, um, damage or um, head injury um, side of things because of that. If it is just a mouth injury, then your priority will be to stop the bleeding. So get them, ideally, to bite on something a um, bit of clean, non-fluffy cloth, whatever you happen to have. Um, clean, non-fluffy. If you're a mum, you'll probably have a muslin nappy. Or if you're a, a new mum um, with you, that would be great if it was a clean one. And get them to bite on that. Um, if there are loose teeth, um, if they're able to remove it themselves, then that would be good. If it is completely loose and has fallen out. And any tooth that is there with the root on it, as I said before, can be saved. Any bits of teeth that um, have been snapped, then I'm afraid you won't be able to do anything with those. It might still be worth popping them in a pot or in your pocket and taking them with you when you take the casualty to a um, good dentist or a dental hospital. So your priority is to stop the bleeding, so get them to bite on a cloth. If you have a wrapped ice pack, that will reduce any swelling. Um, and then the key thing then is to get to get them help. For the tooth itself, if it has been knocked out in its entirety, if it is popped into some milk or some saliva, so you can get them to spit into a pot or you could spit into a pot, or if you are a, a loving parent and um, you're somewhere where there isn't any milk or a pot that you can spit into, you could put a child's tooth in the side of your mouth as long as you're sure you're not going to swallow it and that saliva can keep that tooth alive until you get the casualty and the tooth to um, a good quality um, um, in interventive um, a dentist uh, or a dental hospital where they can see whether or not they can reimplant it. It's unlikely they will reimplant milk teeth, um, very occasionally they do, but it's unlikely. Um, but if it is a, a permanent tooth, and it hasn't got damaged and they feel that it is likely to take, then you've given them the very best chance to be able to reimplant it. Don't wash the tooth, don't um, touch the root if you can avoid it, um, and just handle it very carefully and get as quickly as you can um, for them to be treated. Don't forget they have had a head injury, so keep um, a lookout for signs of anything unusual for the next 24 to 48 hours um, because you're, you're looking for after effects from a head injury. I hope that's been helpful. That's Emma Hammett, firstdayforlife.org.uk. There's many more free resources on our website.